Hey gang, um, my name is Dave. This is the Dirt Bike Dave channel. If you don't know this already, um, obviously since you're here, you probably do. But for those of you who are new finding um, my videos, um, I do dirt bike related stuff, mostly China bike stuff. Um, I have an Orion RXB250 that's been modded out. And uh, the purpose of this video is to talk about my newest a bike. I got the KO K6R 250cc liquid cooled um, China bike. Uh, KO USA company now trying to get a foothold in the United States. Um, they've been around here for a while, but now they're trying to do brick and mortar stores and they've come up with a good lineup of bikes. And, you know, the one that I have is motor motocross specific and I'm, I'm i'll talk to you about i'll talk to you about it a little bit more but um this is my blog my blog vlog for november so uh for the people who know me from the orion groups i'm switching over to this ko now and i'm gonna basically be focusing on the ko k6r um owners group in facebook groups for uh you know the 250 the version i have which is a motocross version and an efi version which is um an off-road version there is a difference people please um i've investigated this they're, they're actually even different shocks and forks so some people were saying it's basically the same bike it is not my bike the k6r carb version it has a carburetor is motocross specific it has different uh, a little bit different mapping for the ignition and it has different suspension settings and valving and springs and all that. So, um, and I'm, I'm just getting into it. So you'll learn as I learn, um, anybody who wants to contribute, um, to that group, please do so. But getting back to the Orion one, um, the Orions came out with the new two fifties. Joe Henner is still supporting that. And he's in the process of building up his version of a motocross bike. But that also applies to however you guys use the bike. Um, Joe still does porting. He's got a big bore kit for that bike. He still has the four degree uh, timing flywheel advance key. Um, you know, he can still rifle bore the carburetors. He recently came up with an airbox mod. Um, he took the original one. There's, there's two versions of it that he's kind of messing around with. He took the original version and made it work. You need to take it apart and seal it. And he's there's a video, so I'm not going to go in depth with it. But go look that up if you have that bike. You need to do this. That bike does not breathe correctly. It, it sucks air the wrong way. Well, sorry. Obviously, it works from an engineering standpoint, but it has a paper filter, and the way that it breathes, it it will bring in that water and dirt and dust. And so get, get a different filter from Joe. Use his video as a guide to get your um, air filter and your air box sealed up the right way so that you don't destroy your engine. Because um, unfortunately, it's not something that would necessarily be covered under their warranty. Um, a lot of people have already asked the group, um, I'm not gonna name names, They've asked the people at Orion about that and it won't be covered. So, you know, that's one thing you need to really uh, jump right on and get fixed. Other than that, everybody's saying the new bike is really good and an improvement from the old. Uh, you know, higher quality steel frame, um, more like traditional Japanese bikes. You know, it's it's got a, the, the tensile strength of the steel is, is harder. Um, have heard a little bit of um, some shocks coming um uh leaky shocks coming apart but i think that was a production run problem and i think they're on top of that they're going to try to fix those so if you have that reach out to orion and, and try to get that squared away i think they'll square it away some foot pegs came without springs but they're they've got on top of that too um but in general everything i hear about the new orion 250 is that it's a very good bike uh depending on how hard you push it if you if you ride off-road and motocross the forks are going to be 
something you're going to have to address. Um, you know, obviously send them to Joe or talk to Joe Henner or uh, anybody, you know, other tuners maybe too, I guess. I, I don't know, but they're a little bit small for what um, hard riding. But the bike is taller than people thought. Um, it's taller up and down seat height. It's a little bit more um, brought in uh, nose to tail. I don't know how to how to say what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, you guys, if you know me, sometimes I just use words and start mumbling. But um, yeah, it's just not as long as the other one. But in other ways, it's good. So it's kind of like a pit bike on steroids, I guess, is what I would say when I look at it. It's very much taken from that kind of a design. Uh, it definitely matches the 150 that they had existing before. But, of course, you know, a 250 engine, a, a very good 250 engine, um, does have a counterbalancer. It is a little bit heavy, but that seems to be the thing with all the China bikes. Uh, is that you get a little bit of extra weight and a little bit of older technology sometimes, but yeah, so that's that um, So Joe Henner is gonna be more involved in uh, Doing this bike than uh, obviously the new RXB 250. I didn't buy one. I wasn't interested in this model I kind of felt it was more like a um, I, I just wanted to go a different way I ride motocross. That's really what I do. I, I don't even like even doing trails. I, I will do them, but um, it's kind of just like on a on a whim. I'll just go out and ride some trails. But so I needed something a little bit more. Obviously, you guys know the history of what I did with my bike. Uh, plenty of videos here that you can look up. Uh, you can you know a lot of the stuff that I did kind of applies to your bike now. Um, you know, big bore timing, um, advanced key. Um, CDI, uh, rev boxes, um, you know, suspension mods and things that I did, you know, all those kind of things still kind of, uh, apply. So, um, I would, you know, if you're, if you're going to mod, if you're going to do up uh, stuff like that, um, either hit up Joe Henner be, and, uh, you know, and look up some of the older videos that I've done. Um, and you'll, you'll kind of see the, the new bike has so much more stuff. It, it really is worth the extra, it was a little bit more money, but it's really worth it. You got better rims and spokes. That was a big issue. Like the, the biggest issue in my group was people destroying their uh, rims and their spokes. So Orion addressing that is a big plus right there, just alone. Cause that goes, it, it becomes like a safety issue and everything. Um, Street bike wise, like a lot of times people turn these things into uh, commuters and, and that's just an, it's another thing that they, they needed to address. And I think they did. And I think they're making moves to be better. Um, but like I said, I've moved on. I'm now doing the KOK 6R stuff and, um, you know, hopefully other people will get them and contribute to the group. I'm, I'm hoping that we can build this because this bike is amazing. It is the Chinese version of a motocross bike. It's what they use in there. They race them all over and you know, it's to that quality. It's on par with Japanese uh, build quality. I'm not saying it's the same, you know, it's a little bit less horsepower, a little bit more weight, but as far as just build quality, uh, it's on par the welds the quality of the components stuff like that uh, I'm gonna walk out here real quick and show give you a quick Show you it and then I'm gonna end this video and uh, go riding and hopefully you'll start seeing uh, More ride videos from me and participate. I hope you'll participate in the K in the KOK 6 R group and um, Please remember to like subscribe tell your friends about it. I'm trying to build up this YouTube channel and get more people exposed to these China bikes in the first place. So let's go take a look at, uh, I've named this the China Syndrome. C-Y-N-A, China. C-H-Y-N-A, China. Syndrome, S-I-N, instead of S-Y-N. But anyways, here we go.
So this is the new bike. Water cooled, 250cc. Put the new stickers on it. But yeah. So you'll be seeing this a lot more. This will be in all my videos. Gonna give her a, a run down today. Just, but she's good. There's more detailed video about everything if you have questions on my page. Anyways, so that's it. I'm going riding. Y'all have a good one.